This series is called Analog Tech. It's where we look at gadgets that have no batteries, no cables, no subscriptions, no servers, no e-waste, just classic design and engineering. Today, we're looking at this, an embossing label maker. And here's how it works. You just feed a roll of tape into the handle. You spin around to the symbol that you want, and then you just squeeze the handle to emboss it. Then you rotate to the next symbol that you want, and you just squeeze it again. Then, when you're done, you just rotate to the scissors and squeeze. And it ejects your finished label. The result is these vintage looking labels that I think look really great. The font is super legible in all caps and it's really high contrast because the process of embossing turns this black plastic or red plastic, whatever color tape you use, to white. And then you just use them like any other label. You peel back this cover over the adhesive and stick it to whatever you want. And because they're embossed, they won't wear over time like a lot of the digital ones tend to do. A company named Dino has been making these since the 1950s when they became a staple of office utility for decades. It wasn't until the 90s that consumers could get their hands on an affordable little model like this one. But no doubt you recognize the style of these labels. I mean, it's totally classic and we've seen it come up again and again in graphic design. And this, this tool, currently costs $10 on Amazon with three rolls of extra tape. Link to that deal in the description. They have a good array of colors available and you can swap them out in the middle of using a roll. I have a red one here, but I typically stick with the classic black look. And of course, I use it to label things, to get organized. I use them on my cabinet back there to mark which bins go in which shelf. But because I love the look, I've been using it in a bunch of other ways. I like to name all my tech, so I've been putting the name of my gadgets on the actual device. For birthday cards, I've actually been writing out the recipient's name and like using the label to seal the card. And because you can feel the texture of the embossing, you can actually get a braille version so that you can print messages for the visually impaired. And that could be a great option for small business owners who maybe want to make their storefronts more accessible. I don't love that it's made out of plastic with plastic tape, but it feels well built enough that I think it'll last a while. At one point, I thought it was broken and I was gonna get a new one, but turns out there's just this little hack you have to look out for. If you think yours is broken, these two sets of arrows have to line up. Check that that's the case, and if they're not, you can just rotate the top ring around to get them lined up, and that fixed mine. And if you're really into it, but you don't love that it's plastic, you can get a much bigger, more expensive embosser that will print on the metal tape. This is such a smart, clever little design. I think you will get so much value out of this $10 investment. Despite the greater features of a digital label maker like this one, this embosser just offers an experience that is far more tactile, much better looking, and is rooted in history of classic design. It is an ideal analog gadget. Funny story, I am sitting in my living room right now, but I just had to have this big seamless backdrop set up for something else, so I figured I might as well shoot something here. Thank you so much for watching this video and especially thank you if you found me due to last week's video on the Rivian electric truck. I'm so happy with the response to that video. I'm glad y'all really liked it. If you are new here, my name is Jackson and I make videos about design every single week, publish videos on Thursdays. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and checking out our website, lunationlab.com that has these cool things called the Lunation Indexes. They're like these product recommendation things. They're, they're rad, check them out. And of course, thank you for watching and I'll see you next week.